Okay, we're going to look at the proof of the sum of an arithmetic series. We're going to start by looking at a real example um, of adding up the first 100 numbers, the sum of the first 100 numbers, as reputedly uh, attributed to Carl Gauss, a 19th century mathematician. So he first of all laid out the sum of the first 100 numbers, the first term, the second term, the penultimate term, the nth term. He then said, okay, I'm going to reverse that list. I'm going to start with the nth term then the penultimate term, then all the ones in the intervening in the middle, and then the second term, and the first term. And then he said, OK, I'm going to add those two lists together. So I'm going to add 1 and 100, I get 101. I'm going to add 2 and 99, oh, I get 101. And all those ones in the middle would also be 101. Getting back to these two at the end, that will be 101, and so will that. OK, so how many lots of 101 have I got? Obviously, I have got 100 lots of 101. Um, so if I actually want the sum to 100, I've got this times in by 2, so I need to bring that 2 over. And obviously, divided by 2, I'm going to get 101, 0, 0, divided by 2, gives me that. OK, now, how can we generalise this? So generalising this, we're going to say we want the sum to n terms, where my first term we're going to use the letter a, my second term is a plus whatever the common difference is, my last term at the end is my nth term, which is a plus n minus 1 lots of the difference, and therefore the penultimate term is going to be a plus n minus 2 lots of the differences. And then I've got all the other terms in between, and I'm going to add those up as well. Right, then what I do is I write it in reverse order. So my last term here is a plus n minus 1d, a plus n minus 1d. My pen penultimate term is a plus n minus 2d. Then I've got all the ones in the middle. My second term was a plus d. And my first term was a. Right, now what do I do? I'm going to say I want, I'm going to come down here, I want two lots of sn. So I'm going to add this one, I'm going to add this term and this term, and I get 2a plus n minus 1d. Okay, I get that. Okay, and now I'm going to add this one and this one, and I get 2a, and I also get n minus 1d. And then all the ones in the middle will also be that, and let's go to the end. You see the last term is also going to be 2a plus n minus 1d, bit of a squeeze in there. Right, so how many lots of these have I got? They're all the same. Um, well, how I, I've got n lots. So I've got n lots of 2a plus n minus 1d. Now, remember, that's two lots of sn. But if I just wanted the sum to n terms, I want that on its own. So I'm going to bring the 2 over, which gives me n divided by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 lots of the difference. Okay, that is your proof of the sum of an arithmetic series. You do get this formula in the, in the C1 formula book, but you do need to know how to prove it. So the writing in blue. So if you could copy that into your learning pack survival kit notes.